Hi guys, I'm just here to share a story with, with you. I might do one every day. So, here's the first one. The Couch for Llama. The Couch for Llama. The Lago family's couch was very well loved. It was perfect spot for snuggling and reading, card playing, fort building, and hide and seeking. They had many good times. Rather, maybe a few, many good, too many good times. We, oops, hey. One day, they decided it was time for a new couch. So they piled into the family car and off they went to find one. One that wasn't too big or too small, but just right. The Lago family found the perfect couch. <coughs> but on the way home, something went wrong. Whoosh. Llama found a couch. Sniff, sniff, sniffing, sniff, sniff. Llama brayed hello to the couch, but the couch didn't say anything. He tried to share his lunch with the couch, but the couch didn't seem to have much of an appetite. So Llama decided to eat the couch instead. It tasted worse than a dry, dusty tumbleweed. The Lago family noticed something was missing. Oh no, where is the couch? Meanwhile, Mama decided to just ignore the couch and pretend it wasn't there. This got very, very boring. So the llama snuck up and pounced and bounced, 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 whirled and whirled, jumped and bumped. And fell down into the smushy, mushy, fluffy, puffy cushions. He can completely finally actually finally completely love the couch the lago family found their couch and also a llama specifically a stubborn couch loving kind of llama they had a great idea. Don't worry, Llama, we'll be back. What a surprise! A couch just for Llama. At the end of the day, the Lago family was happy with their new couch. But the but Llama was the happiest of them all.